space is we, we, in this space here, we get presented with a lot of truth, right? Some of that truth is universal truth. Other parts of that truth is personal truth. Now, universal truth is generally quite easy to accept. Why is that? It's because we don't have any emotional investment in it. Does that, that make sense, doesn't it? But personal truth, that's very difficult to accept. And the main reason why that is, is because we're so used to judgment. We're so used to judging everything that we hear about ourselves. And usually what do we do when we hear something bad about myself and somebody said it? We normally go into, oh, you're a nasty person. How dare they ever said that about me? I am black man them from my list of friends. And, you know, we just go down this road, don't we, of trying to actually remove that person, in fact, usually from our life, in order to just avoid that projection or that truth, if you like. And so this is the main problem we're facing, is that we're actually judging, when we judge, we're actually judging the truth. Can you see that? And if you keep judging your tr the truth, you are not going to feel emotions. The reason why is, to actually feel any emotion, we must first feel the truth. Now, does everyone understand what I just said? Because it's so important to understand. You must feel the truth before you will actually feel the emotion. You must actually believe a, and actually state and feel this truth before the emotion will flow. Example. And I'll give you a very physical example. You're standing in front of the mirror in the morning. And there's a bit of sleep, you know, in the corner of your eye and you know, running down here from the night from the night. And maybe there was a bit of a drinking night the night before and you're looking pretty worse for wear and the hair's a bit of a mess and, and everything like that is happening. There's your picture right in front of you. What do you normally do with that picture? Oh, this is looking pretty bad. Some patch ups have to occur, right? If you're a woman <laughs> slap, slap on the mask, maybe. If you're a guy, then you shower and maybe a shave and, you know, some of those anti-after-effect uh, type, um, what do you call them, concoctions that you might drink. And just in order to pep you up. Now, why do you do all of that? You do it all because you want to look better, even to yourself, don't you? And this is a common thing that we have inside of ourselves going on, is that we always want to present to ourselves a better picture than what we really are. Now, can you see a problem with that on the divine path? Yeah? Can you see that from God's perspective, what is God seeing? The absolute truth. Exactly as you are. What they say, warts and all? You're seeing everything. You see, that's what God's seeing. If we were going to become a one with God, what will we finish up saying? Everything. Warts and all. Not only in ourselves, but in everyone around us too, right? We will eventually start seeing what God says. Now, if I have some judgment about that, that's going to really affect, isn't it, my own progression so much. But also it's going to affect my projections of emotions onto other people as well. Now, if I accept the truth emotionally inside of myself and I have an open heart and all I'm doing is focusing every single day on seeing the reflection in the mirror, then I'm getting reflected back at me through the law of attraction. So remember the law of attraction is like a mirror. It's reflecting at you constantly what you've got left inside of you and also the good things inside of you too, of course, isn't it? It's reflecting both at you constantly. Now the good things we're totally happy about taking responsibility for, aren't we? Like how many of you, you know, if somebody, if you had a hundred people saying, oh, she's a lovely woman, you know, you'd be pretty happy with that. 
But if you had a hundred people saying, well, uh, you know, she's a real bitch, actually. And, you know, I don't really like spending any time. Like, that would be pretty challenging, wouldn't it? Right? So when we look at the mirror, the key is firstly, we, go, we need to see our truth. We need to look at our truth sincerely. Once we see that, the key is to not walk away and forget it. And you will be very tempted to walk away and forget it because you'll do this when you see the, yourself in the mirror. You'll do this judgment thing. Every time you judge, you are resisting the truth. Every time you resist the truth, the emotion that the truth will open up will not flow. The emotion will only flow when you accept the truth. Now that applies whether I have harmed someone else or someone else has harmed me. Now most of us are totally comfortable, are we not, in dealing with the emotions where we have, where other people have harmed us. You find those pretty easy to deal with? You know, when I was three, mum did this and dad did that and it was terrible and you know, I'm pretty happy to cry about that. When I say happy, I don't know if you use the right term, that is the right term, but you can cry about those kind of issues quite easily, can't we? But what about when you have harmed others? Or when others come to you and tell you that you've harmed them? How do you react then? With even more judgment. With even more judgment? Or often with the opposite? Denial. Denial and blame. Justification. Justification. One of those two. Is that? Yeah, that, this is the best time to look for causal emotion. The best time is to look for it as soon as, soon as the event occurs, straight away flick into causal emotion. But for the majority of us, what we finish up doing is judging first which switches us right out of the cause of emotion. It gets us right away from it. In the end, every single causal emotion within us began usually in our first 10 years of our life. Now, would you judge a you know, seven-year-old child coming to you saying, Mummy or Daddy, um, you know, I really felt like killing one <laughs> the guy you know, when I was at kindy today or at school today. And would you judge that? Wouldn't you just sit them down and help them work through the emotion? You wouldn't punish them, would you? You wouldn't just slap them across the face, you naughty. You wouldn't do any of those things, would you? But how many times do you do that with you? Can you see that? Can you see why we shut down so much? So, in this soul sinking phase, one of the main reasons why the soul is sinking is because of the judgment that we have about truth. And not to tell you so much the judgment we have about global or universal truth, but it's the judgment that we have about personal truth. 